that'd be really cool if uh, if if that could be done. Um, it kind of goes along with like one of the ideas I thought with NFTs before was like um, if you had kind of like a version of Spotify where no one paid a monthly fee and it was entirely free, but like every artist when they released a song released like. 10 nfts or something that, that, that came with that song and then that way like people who wanted to support the artist or collect something like they wanted to collect their you know they, they wanted to be one of the 10 people who you know owned a token corresponding to drake's new single or something could do that and then that way everyone else gets to enjoy it for free and the artist gets their money kind of thing so i suppose it kind of there's lots of like different ways that this sort of um this approach can be done but what you said sounds pretty pretty cool like the way that you can just have the people who are involved in making something and get their proportion of it fairly and of and openly so that everyone can see and and that way you kind of if you're also if you're paying for a film or tv show you can actually see oh okay like i really liked that actor and he got like you know four percent of the amount i paid and, and it's definitely in his wallet and i think that's kind of a cool idea i think that'd be uh, a pretty good thing to to encourage there's definitely good stuff that could happen with uh the future and uh the use of, of lightning as you say and uh, even NFTs or, or, or even like the metaverse and decentralized social media. And there's also bad ways that it can be done, right? So um, I suppose the the hope is that the the right way wins. So it totally sort of switched the topic, to be honest, but it's something I wanted to ask you, um, like when I looked at your work, um, and I wanted to make sure I asked you before we, we end, we end uh, the podcast, but it was that um, when it comes to your 3D art, I quite like some of the stuff you do and and there was a few pieces I, re I really liked actually. And I was wondering like how, because we spoke to Jason um, like a long time ago, who was our um, our guy for like 3D um, and art and, and things like that, but uh, internally a bit refill. But um, what what like, uh, so, and obviously if you, if you don't want to share, fine, but uh, you can just tell me to, to piss off. But uh, what, what software do you use for your 3D art? Like what, how do you create this stuff? Like, is there a process that you have and, and like, what do you use to do it? Uh, no, no, I will talk about it. No problem. Uh, basically, the the program that I use is Daz 3D, Daz Studio. Um, it fits my own uh, workflow. Um, it's uh, it's it's both free and very expensive <laughs> at the same time. Uh, it's free to use. It has some free basic uh, libraries and assets and all that. That's a whole different world, 3D world. Um, it has free assets. There are libraries. You can create stuff. You can you can import uh, stuff uh, from uh, other uh, libraries. Uh, but uh, there's some of uh, some of the best premium content on it. Is uh, you, you pay for it. You pay for it. And there are plenty of sales. And you can you can have something. You know, you, you can have your eye on something and grab it at fifty percent off. Uh, I tend to do that. Uh, and you end up sp spending thousands <laughs> at the end. So it's both uh, free and very expensive. The main issue is that it's uh, quite, um, how do you call it? Uh, there's a bit of a learning curve. Uh, um, there are tutorials, there are many things, but it's, it's quite steep. It's a very steep learning curve. Uh, it was quite hard. I made, as I said, I made stuff every day. You can you can see it on my. I, I post those things, and uh, I posted them on the on my on my blog. Um, and you can see from the first render that I made, which is uh, now it's uh, two and a half years ago, I think. Uh, I was making stuff every day, so. After like uh, a year, I had about two, 200 uh, renders. So it wasn't every day, but okay, it was quite a, quite a lot of production, you know. And as I was making things and I was trying things out, I was getting better and better and better because you need to think, um, uh, you, need, you need to do some programming tricks, uh, you know, with the camera and all that. You need to do some filmmaking tricks composition you get better with the lighting lighting is uh, is quite uh, it's a whole different thing in in filmmaking and you know artistic uh, storytelling um so yeah i does 3d works perfect for me i like it very much and uh it it helps me it helps me uh, you know bring what i have in mind what i uh, what i imagine what i'm trying to do uh, i can i can make it you know uh, appear in in 3d space 
and uh, then I can, uh, once I'm done with it, I hit render. And if I'm satisfied, I say, okay, that's done, and I publish it. Basically, that's, that's what happens uh, every single day or every other day. So, yeah, it's quite hard, to be honest. You need to know a few things, but that, don't let that stop you. If you like to read the artwork, just give it a go. It's free to start using it. Uh, and, uh, okay, well, welcome to the community of uh, 3D artists, if you're interested. All right, thanks. I'm going to download it and just check it out and see how it works. Because I've always been, like, interested. I, I, I wonder, you know, obviously I'll either get into it and, and, and go with it or I won't. I'm a bit like that. I try everything I can and then just, hey, you know, if, I, if, it, if, it, if it takes off in my brain, then it takes off. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But um, at least you still appreciate the art, even if you're making or not making it. Did you like something in particular? Oh, what, when it comes to your art? Yeah. Yeah, so I'll see if I can find what I was looking at. Where are we? So I had a, I was looking through tons of stuff. Um, where are we? Where's the one? There's a specific one I really liked, actually, that you sold. I'm going to see if I can try and find it. Uh, I think it was one of the NFTs that you were selling. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then I think it had already been sold or whatever. I think I was on OpenSea as well when I was looking at it, so I have to find it. Although actually, this is pretty cool that already. The one of the avatars. I like the. Um, so you've got like a. Uh, I'm trying to explain what it is. It's. Um, it looks like the. You know the Lightning Network uh, uh, ATM, the orange box Lightning Network ATM. Uh, it kind of looks like a Game Boy to a degree. You've got yeah. like one of these like it's like a robot character holding a Bitcoin logo. On the Bitcoin Avatar site, I really like oh, yeah. that one. The, yeah, the, the, the robot. Yeah, the robot. Sat, how do I call it? I don't know. Yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, that's a cute, uh, you know, uh, it's, a, it's a profile picture. So you like that one, yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. Those, it wasn't the one I was thinking at the time, but yeah, it's, this is I, I love this though. I could see like a little um, a little movie or like uh, you could do like a little TV series with that where it's like... Uh, like teaching people about Bitcoin or something. I could see kids liking that, you know? I, I think it would be really cool. George, yeah, you, that's a you mentioned idea. your your work with film uh, several times over the interview. What what films have you worked on? You said you won an award for one? Well, well no, no, for, for script writing, right? For writing a short film, which was in Greek. So yeah, it's, I can't, uh, you know, explain it here. So it's pointless, but uh, no, I, I did. Uh, I went to to film school all, all quite uh, later on in my life uh, because I liked, uh, you know, making stuff with uh, cameras and all that. Um, but uh, basically, I worked in TV, in Greek TV. Um, I did some work as a, as a cameraman, as a sound uh, engineer. Uh, film editor uh, we try to do a few things on my own uh, but yeah the problem is that uh, it, it required a bit a type of persistence that I didn't want to offer because the the marketplace is quite small in Greece I, I I don't know if you understand I'm bilingual so I do things in English so basically I wanted to do stuff that's uh, you know for international audience um, and that was a bit hard to do in Greece, so I didn't pursue it that much. But thankfully, I found uh, after the after writing, I found 3D art, which uh, in which I use a lot of my knowledge uh, in filmmaking. I use composition, lighting, um, three point lighting, for example, you know, expressions uh, with the models and all that. Uh, trying to make a, a, a photo look dynamic, you know, have some wind on it, some have some movement, uh, try and make the camera angle uh, dynamic and, you know, like cinematic and stuff like that. I try to do those things. And uh, quite a lot of my filmic knowledge uh, can be seen, uh, I think, in my 3D art. Uh, if you check out the... The artwork that I've made, which is I, I've made some of my stories. I've um, I've made some scenes of or or the characters, you know, um, uh, even pinups because uh, some women, you know, cyborg women and all. Uh, so you can see some cinematic uh, stuff, which is my my characters from my stories, uh, which is so it's either a scene or just a presentation of of one of the characters in my stories and uh i think these add up to to the experience you know to the 
to the reading experience. I haven't tried to do any animation. Um, to be honest, I'm not very good at it. I have tried some animation. You can find some of my NFTs, but it's just a rotation, you know, and it's no, it's no big deal. It's a very basic animation. Uh, it's, animation is quite hard. It's quite hard. It's, it's, uh, it's unbelievably hard. You need, uh, you need uh, lots of experience and uh, lots of skills. And uh, then it's uh, like 10 times the work of uh, just getting an actor and, uh, you know, uh, doing the entire thing on camera. Honestly. Yeah, I, I'm always amazed when you see like um, uh, any anything that's animated in general is pretty amazing. Like I remember when I used to play like the uh, Final Fantasy games on PlayStation 1 back in the day. And um, even then, like some of the animation scenes, like I, I think I played Final Fantasy 9 recently um, again because it was one of my favorite games. And uh, you just see like the, uh, the, okay, the game itself is insanely impressive for its time. But beyond that, like the cut scenes, you're like, holy hell, like how are they doing this back then? And you think like, uh, you know, even now uh, to do the same thing with all the, I'm sure it's better software and, and makes it easier, but even that, now it's got to be bloody difficult to, to even begin to do anything like it. So um, yeah, it's, it always amazes me animation, to be honest. Um, but also the character creation can be pretty difficult. And I know people often specialize in one or the other. I, I think I, from what I understand, like when we spoke to Jason, yeah. it was like, yeah people often they, they make the 3d model or whatever and then the animator will purchase the 3d model or whatever and then will make the animation from the model so obviously you're just specializing on one side of it which makes makes complete sense um that's for sure okay well yeah i mean george um it's been awesome having you on i, I feel like i've learned some new things and it's kind of interesting to see like your perspective on stuff and i think we agree on a lot uh, when it comes to the, the future of the metaverse and nfts and things like that but and it's interesting to see what you've been up to experimenting and Hopefully people listening have got a better idea of um, kind of how, how, how NFTs and minting is and, and, and kind of why you're doing it and why they should be interested in supporting you as well. Um, but yeah, is there anything you want to say before we head out? Any, any, you know, you've obviously mentioned some of the websites, but you can go ahead and mention them again and just you know, make sure people know where to find you and that kind of stuff. Yes, it was a great chat, to be honest. Uh, yes, um, I enjoyed it. Uh, the... Basically, I try out a few things, and I post about them on my Twitter, which uh, is uh, Saulidis G. You can, I'm, I'm sure we're gonna link it underneath and the, in the video, and uh, on my website, which is georgesaulidis.com. Everything I make or the, everything that I work on, I generally tend to post it there. It's a bit of a mess. <laughs> Don't expect. Uh, Organize things, you know, don't expect like a perfect, uh, you know, uh, library of my work and all that. It's everything that I make, I put it on there and you can find it and, you know, it you will uh, get the link to, to either purchase it and all that. Uh, yes, I tend to do, to make a lot of uh, new things. And uh, I think that uh, Bitcoin is, uh, is the bedrock of the internet that we're going to create from now on and lightning especially is going to open up a whole new breadth of possibilities and uh, i also have a, a shop uh, at mythography studios mythography studios is where i put my commercials it's my company's name um, and you can purchase my stories on the, with lightning or with fiat currency normal as normal on uh, on my shop there and you can find all the other stuff that uh, i've made all the other products that i've made which are polished and finished so yes thank you awesome no it's uh, much appreciated i uh, yeah it's been great having you on and uh yeah, I mean, uh, I hope that you have an amazing week and I hope that's the same for everyone else. Everyone listening, have an awesome rest of the week, day, month, etc. cetera. And um, we appreciate everyone for, for listening in. And uh, yeah, any questions, just feel free to shoot them into us. Um, and we can always get in touch with uh, George and pass any on about his art or ways to get it or find it if, you, if it's not been clear. But obviously we'll have everything in, in posted to belief anyway uh, on the video or audio uh, when you're listening to it. Um, but yeah, thanks very much, George. Uh, thanks, Ricardo. It's been awesome having you both. And uh, everyone take care and keep buying Bitcoin. <laughs>